Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are going to see page number pagination. So first I'll go to the browser and I have already opened this website. Alright, so you can just come to this django frameworkorg click on this API guide and click on this pagination. Okay, now if you see over here under the API reference, you can see page number pagination. Okay, now here they have explained that what your response is gonna look like and your request is gonna look like after implementing this particular pagination type. Okay, so after implementing this pagination type, you will see the count of your objects in the database, next and previous link and the result. Okay, now if you wanna jump to one page to another, then you can simply manually write page numbers over here and you would be fine okay so let's implement this so here this is the global setting of page number pagination and if you have already watched my previous video then you might have created this rest underscore framework variable in your settings.py file okay so if i scroll down you can see this one here we have added many uh, permission classes, authentication classes, etc. Throttling and all. Alright. So, here I'll just copy this one. Come over here. Write comma and paste that one. I'll just zoom a bit. Okay. Oops. Yeah. Here I have pasted those settings. Now, here the paste size is 100. So, what it is going to do is it will allow 100 elements in a one page okay and django rest framework will automatically divide the pages for you you don't need to go ahead and divide the pages after implementing this one no it's not like that it will just divide pages for you and you need to write this code only okay but after writing this code in settings.py it will basically add this pagination restrictions in every classes which means this is global setting okay i'll just demonstrate this so i hope my server is running yeah now i'll go to the block list now you can see we have count which means i have five blocks okay the next is next link is null and previous link is null why because I have permission to show 100 objects in a single page. So let me go ahead and rewrite this to two objects per page. So if I refresh, then you can see I got this next link. Okay. And the previous is null because we are on the first page. So if you click on this link, you will be fine. But uh, if you want to write something like this page equals to three then also it is fine but keep practice of doing this way because if you go to the any client yeah thunder client in the blog list if i send you can see i need to write it manually okay here in query parameters you can see i have wrote page and three I simply pasted this link and parameters appeared automatically. So if I say 2, then you will see this one. Alright. So here you can get this link. Just you can copy and paste that one. That is also fine. Alright. So we are having null here. Next null because we don't have next page. This is the last page. The three page number is last page okay so i hope you got idea about this one so now what if i don't want this page restriction in all the classes so let's say i want uh, i want to show 100 elements on the blog list page but i want to show um let's say 10 categories on category list page i can do that okay so i will just demonstrate the pagination individual pagination for one class and for category you need to do it by your own that is your exercise okay so 
first i'll just go ahead in blog underscore app and i will create new file which will be pagination.py okay let me do control z over here and i'll just comment this one so whenever you refer the code you will get this code okay now in the documentation if i come well down okay they have not shown us the implementation of the pagination individually but we will do it okay so here we need to import page number pagination so i'll say from rest framework okay, let me change the environment rest framework dot pagination import page number pagination and here i'll say class blog list create pagination and here i will inherit the page number pagination now here you have many parameters to add first is page size so if i add this page size which means I can pass the page numbers. So for now, let's I'll write one. Okay. Then you have this page query param, but we will just test this class out. After that, we will see the parameters. Okay. So I'll just copy this class name. Go to the views.py. Now here, there are many packages which we are not using. It's better to clean this up. Okay, so I'll just remove this one. Also this one. This one. Yeah, now it's fine. So here I'll say from dot pagination import this class. Now I'll copy this one. Go to blog list view. Now here I can add comment pagination and I'll say pagination underscore class equals to this one okay save come over here refresh okay so I don't need to pass list okay just remove the square brackets refresh now you can see I have only one object on one page I'll not use this browsable API I'll use this one instead it's best practice to have this one enter okay so you can see i have blog id number one the next is page number two so if i pass question mark and say page equals to two okay send you can see i got second data then three i got the third data etc okay now let's see this parameter quer page query param so if you don't like writing this page or if you don't want your api to be designed like if anyone wants to write p and equals to three then they can write like this way okay okay this is how we do it so if you want to do like that then you can rewrite this page page param parameter okay so we go to views.py not views.py pagination.py i'll say page query param equals to P. Now, just remove this and get, send a get request. Now you can see in this next URL, you will see P equals to 2, which defines page equals to 2. In some API, you might see this type of thing, okay, P equals to 2, but I prefer page only, okay, I don't prefer these shortcuts. So this was just to explain you guys. All right so if i say question mark p equals to four then you can see we are on the fourth page all right so that was the page query param i'll just comment this one i don't need it i'm fine with uh, page word okay then we have page size param okay so this is very useful feature because 
now if a particular user wants to modify the size of the page then they can let's say i am the end user and i don't want one data on one page instead i want two data on a single page okay so let me go to page number one okay then what i can do over here is i can pass size size and inside the value i can pass three and if i send then you can see i have three data in a single page so whenever i go to the second page see previous previous is null now if i go to second page okay not here i need to write these two over here then you can see i got this one all right we got two data again and if i click go to the third page now we got the last data and the next is null because this is the last page okay and if you are thinking about this block titles and all those things i have added by my own before starting the recording so you can just go to admin panel and you can add it by your own okay the i rewrote this because this makes more sense all right so i hope you got idea about this size parameter and page parameter and uh, another last parameter which is very very useful which is max page size now here you can define maximum page size which a particular user can define so let's say user can define 50 maximum value 50 so whenever user will pass the page size he will only allow to pass 50 value 50 objects per page okay size 50 if he if he writes the page size more than 50 then also it is then also the api is not going to accept his page size request okay and uh, he will receive the normal response basically so it, to demonstrate this one i can just set this max page size to 2 all right and the page size of our api is 1 so let's send the request okay so i have one so if i say uh, size three okay if i send the request you can see i'll get only two response because my maximum page size was two not 50 all right so i hope you got idea so let's say i if i write 50 over here and someone enters 55 then he will get 50 response because our page size maximum page size limit was 50 not uh, other any number which user has inputted all right i hope you got the idea about this max underscore page underscore size all right okay so i hope you got idea about all these parameters and these were these were the useful parameters for page number pagination so yeah this is it for page number pagination so if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and in next video we are going to see limit offset pagination thank you